ओम श्री साई राम प्रशांति संदेश साई पर्स ऑफ विजडम वेलकम्स यू वी नो मेनी ऑफ द मेटीरियलाइजेशन दैट स्वामी डेड राइट इन फ्रंट ऑफ अस we saw the materialization of vibhuti turmeric and kumkum materialized by bhagwan flowing from a empty container kasturi holding that empty container upside down and sometimes swami karunyananda holding that container upside down and swami doing abhishekam swami lifts his hand up and goes on shaking that empty vessel turned upside down and that is followed by a shower or a rain of turmeric kumkum and vibhuti on shirdi idol this is the materialization that all of us witnessed on several other occasions and we also witnessed bhagwan materializing chain a big chain to the wife of the chief priest on dasara day particularly the concluding day purnahuti and presented it to the wife of the chief priest that we saw that a big chain and i also remember swami materializing a, a very small book not not even one and a half inch or so he materialized on the open dais on christmas day and he said this is the bible in the small book the entire scripture is contained that he has shown to the whole public a small book which will be of one and a half inches or at the most two and he has shown to the entire public that materialization also we witnessed like this we witness several of the materializations our creations as swami sometimes calls it projections and we are quite fortunate to have witnessed them and then personally i would like to share with you a few more such materializations in kodaikanal i saw swami materializing a big ring a big ring very big ring with white green stone and swami said this is the ring presented by king janaka to sri rama on the day of the holy wedding wonderful the big ring everybody everybody could uh, touch it and see that such a big ring then i commented swami is that such a big ring swami said yes it is because rama is not a lily put like you a gigantic personality or yanuva very tall therefore he this ring fits him suits him i was very happy to see the everyone everyone in fact that the that ring has been passed on to uh, to everybody so that they can touch and do namaskar that's what we all did and i made simply a statement because it is not my in my nature to keep quiet i said swami is it that king janaka gives him a ring does rama expect 
such expensive gifts from father-in-law? Immediately Swami said, don't say that, no. Father also presented him a ring. Father Dasaratha also presented him a ring. Come on, he waved his hand and materialized another big ring. Big ring with a white stone this time. So a big ring with green stone presented by King Janaka, the father-in-law of Rama, and very big ring with white stone presented by Father the Sarada to Rama. That materialization we saw. Still I feel the touch of it. The very scene is very fresh and green in my memory. And in the same trip, I saw me, I saw Swami materializing a, a very small, a small, a very small, uh, I should I say, uh, model or a bronze statue, shall I say that? It's also small, not very small, but of, uh, of a good size. And that is of Lord Hanuman. Swami said, this is Hanuman statue, made up of bronze. Very nice, I saw. All of us. It is not any dream of anyone. It is not the imagination of anyone. It is open, open to everybody to touch and do namaskar. How beautiful it is. And then another day, Swami was talking to us on Ramayana. Various instances from Ramayana and talking about the parallels between Rama and Krishna. Parallels between Ramayana and Bhagavata. We were all amazed how the Kamsa behaved towards Lord Krishna and how that Dobi the washerman was reborn in times of Rama, blaming him later that led to separation from Sita. That's all a big story. How Swami linked Ramayana and Bhagavata. Amazing, amazing. You know, when it seems Krishna and Balarama, as small boys, went to uh, the Kamsa, there they saw a dobi or a washman bringing clothes. It seems Krishna asked him, why don't you give me one pair that are very uh, attractive, colorful? So we said, no, nothing doing. These are the clothes of Kamsa. But Krishna said, I want them. But the Dobi, the washroom, refused to give. Then Krishna gave him, a, gave him a kick and that fellow fell down. And Krishna and Balarama, the brothers, collected those dresses and wore them. This Swami explained, smiling all the while. And Dobi died there. And the same Dobi, who, who you see, the same Dobi of the times of Ramachandra, who doubted the chastity of Mother Sita. This fellow Dobi during times of Rama was the only fellow who was speaking to his neighbors, where the guarantee that Mother Sita is chaste. Having lived as a captive with Ravana, how can she remain so pure? 
This was carried to Ramachandra. And you know the story as the story goes. That led to the separation from Sita. And that Dobi is born this time. During the time of Krishna incarnation. And he is kicked by Krishna and he died there as uh, I described now. That's how Swami explained the continuity of Rama, of Treta Yuga, to the Krishna of Dvapara Yuga. Same continuity. Many instances he explained. Very beautiful. On one of the days, during the conversation, uh, he mutilates the chain of Ravana chain of Ravana. The chain is so big, so big. If I am to say the chain w w would come uh, almost, to a, uh, almost to my waist. Such a big one. And the chain consists of 365 Sivalingas. All of them are gold. At the center, there are three crystal Sivalingas. One of green color, one of yellow color, one of red color. Three Sivalingas of bigger size when compared to the other 365. Such a big, coming to my waist, such a big size. Swami, such a big size. Yes, this is the chain of Ravana. You all see that. You all see that really, Abba. How beautiful it is. Is it possible to describe in full? Impossible. I'm only making an attempt, that's all. Such a beautiful. That chain, we saw that. Then another day, Swami was sitting, I said slowly, Swami, we saw the rings presented by Dasarada and Janaka. We also see the Hanuman materialized by you. But Swami, we want to see the chain of Mother Sita. Chain of Mother Sita. Swami said, hey, you keep quiet. No, Swami, we have seen all the other materializations, but I want to see this. Swami said, I keep quiet. After three days, we happened to visit the residence of uh, Advocate General of Tamil Nadu State by name Raman. We went to his residence in Kodaikanal, which located on a hill ta hilltop. A greenery, lawns all over. At the center, a swing is kept for Swami. Very well decorated. And the swing was decorated with jasmine flowers and also chrysanthemums. And the swing has got that a, a cushion of, 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 I should say, uh, of a deep, um, I should say, deep blue color, blue color, a, a, a velvet is spread on that swing. The, the swing is decorated with flowers and the central part where Swami is supposed to sit, sit has got the cushion of the dark blue color. And then in front of that is spread a red carpet. Swami slowly went there and sat in the swing. And he asked the residents, some of the ladies who are experts in classical music, Swami wanted them to sing. Oh, classical music. All those songs rendered by Saint Chagaraja. Swami enjoyed. He was in a very good mood. 
Then I thought this is the time to ask him again. I went close to him and said, Swami, we want to see Mother Sita chain. Hey. All right. He materialized the chain. Full of diamonds, full of diamonds, 108 diamonds. And at the center, three big stones, yellow, green and red. Stones at the center. And all the 108 diamonds, this is the chain of Mother Sita, Swami materialized. How can I forget them? What an incredible manifestation it is. And Swami also materialized while describing the holy wedding of Balarama, the brother of Krishna, with Revati, the holy wedding. And Swami was describing. And at the, toward the end, he materialized a big one of the size of a jar, of a jar. It has got a platform and an arch, arch-like thing, and the whole thing is made up of diamonds. And that arch has got diamonds in rows, three, 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 three rows, in three, above them three, above them three, like that, the rows of diamonds are studded there on the arch and to the arch is tied a gold a, a golden swan the chains are made up of gold and the swan is also gold and it swings on all sides but the central part the stomach part of the swan is is uh, is transparent, made up of something like glass, if not glass indeed. It is transparent. Swami wanted me, do you see this? Swami, I see this. How do you like the arch? Excellent, Swami. How about this swan? Did you see that, Swami? Did you observe that nose? Yes, Swami, it's so beautiful. Are what have you observed? Look into the stomach part. I looked into the stomach part. There we find small Bhagavan Baba lying in the lying posture. Do you see that? Ah, some, some, I see that. Are, 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 what a sight it is. He made everyone to come close and watch that. That golden arch with the diamonds and the platform made up of gold and then the chain to which this golden swan has been kept swinging on the other side with the nose so beautiful and the abdominal part only is visible. It's made up of something like a glass through which we could see Bhagavan picture there in the laying posture. Oh, this scene cannot be forgotten for lives to come. And that same materialization of the size of the jar is kept on the teapoy there in front of Swami for one full month. Therefore, there may be many such instances that I can share it with you in the days to come. Thank you very much. Sairam.